This is a very exciting classic game room HD as we're about to open a brand new video game released for the Atari 2600. And that game is Actionauts. This is really exciting because I haven't opened a brand new Atari game in over 20 years. That's just awesome. Seriously, I haven't had this feeling since the late 1980s. Signed by the designer. Mr. Rob Fulop. The thing about this is, just, just the feeling of this box. It just says Atari. And games today are released in those plastic cases where they keep CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. And this just brings back a whole, a whole feeling of nostalgia from the past, and it's really nice. And uh, I, I really commend everybody involved with this release and doing such a tremendous job, because this packaging is just perfect. For use with the Atari 2600 series systems and the Sears Video Arcade and Video Arcade 2. This is something I want to see on more new releases. This is a limited edition unreleased Atari prototype originally designed and programmed in 1984 by Rob Fulop. Now that we've spent enough time admiring the packaging, let's open this thing up and play the game. Serious collectors are probably horrified that I'm about to do this. But I don't collect these things to have them sit on a shelf and gather dust. I like to play my Atari games. And the best way to play them is to actually open them and uh, play them. It's autographed again. Thanks, Rob. This is really cool. This thing's like triple sealed for freshness. Lock in all that Atari goodness. And there you have it. The video game cartridge, not some crappy disc, of Actionauts. The good thing about this is that you can't scratch the hell out of it so that it won't play anymore. On the other hand, I'm also hanging onto it for dear life so it can't shatter on the ground. But you know, there's trade-offs and everything. I like the little swirly thing around the A. That's a nice touch. For use with joystick controllers. God, I miss that. Let's put this thing in the machine. If you ask me what is best in life, I'll usually just quote the famous line from Conan the Barbarian. But there's other things that are best in life. Like seeing a copyright of 2008 on the screen of a brand new Atari 2600 game. That's hard to beat. The original Atari was released in 1977, and in 2008, we have the release of Actionauts, an interesting game developed and programmed by Rob Fulop, and I hope I'm pronouncing Rob's name correctly. He's a famous programmer and responsible for a number of games that I've already reviewed on Classic Game Room HD, including Demon Attack, Cosmic Arc, and the home versions of Night Driver, and the incredible Missile Command. And he was the co-founder of Imagic, which I previously referred to as iMagic. Sorry. This game, Actionauts, was originally created around 1984 and not released due to the troubles in the video game industry and declining sales of Atari software in 1983-1984. And here we have a more or less completed version of the game in 2008 where you play as a programmer trying to program a robot to get cheese. Now, if you've ever watched this show before, you know that I love robots. And in this game, your robot is trying to solve a problem. Normally, I prefer robots that cause problems whether by stomping on things or shooting giant laser beams. 
I especially like robots that transform into fighter planes, like an Android Assault or Thexter. What it does is it really gives you options on how you destroy things, because you can either crush them with your robot feet, or fly by them and bomb them. But that's neither here nor there. The robot in Actionauts is a friendly robot. He just wants to get cheese and you have to guide him there. As you watch the gameplay on this screen, I'm not controlling the robot with the joystick. What I do is I go into the programming screen and program different commands for the robot to follow. That's what those arrows are. So the robot can either go forward, left, right, and then the jump command jumps the, uh, it's like repeat. Uh, what is that? Uh, if anybody remembers taking logo classes, I took logo back in probably about 1984 when this game was originally created, where you had to write a sequence of commands that a turtle would follow to move around the screen, I think. Actionauts isn't so much a programming game as it is a brain game or a strategy game, however you'd word it. It is a lot of fun. It's, it's highly addictive. You have nine different mazes to choose from to navigate your robot through to get the cheese. It requires a bit of trial and error to get through the mazes, and every now and then you screw up and you see your little robot doing circles and running into walls and going the wrong direction. So when you finally do get through the maze and get the cheese, it's a great feeling of accomplishment. After you set your commands, you can flip back and forth using the uh, right icon, which is a smiley face, which has a nice little touch of actually showing a smile when you click on him. After you've set all your commands, you go back to the game screen, and then your robot will execute the commands that you've told him to do. You can also change the speed at which your robot moves around the screen. Actionauts is a true limited edition. I believe only 250 numbered and signed units were available for sale. I picked it up because I love Atari games, I always have. And whether I'm producing classic game room or a documentary film, I always learn a lot about the subject in which I'm working. And back when I played Demon Attack and Missile Command, I never really thought much about who designed the games. So thanks to viewer comments, I've learned a great deal about, about the history of Atari, and being that I'm interested in history, this is a great way to preserve the history of video games because without the pioneers of the video game industry designing games for the Atari 2600 and other gaming systems back in the day, we wouldn't have the massive video game industry that we have now. And I think that we can look to the past and see the creativity and the hurdles that these guys and girls had to overcome to create these tremendous games that have given us enjoyment and some great memories throughout the years. So cheers to everyone who brought Actionauts into existence with a tremendous game, packaging, cartridge design, and artwork. May we all salute robots who are calcium deficient and need a block of cheese.